this video, we're going to solve a system of linear equations. We're going to use the elimination method. In this first example, 2x minus 5y equals 1 and 4x plus 3y equals 15. Those are two straight lines. We're basically trying to find where those two lines intersect. And we're going to try to eliminate one of the variables when we add down. Well, 2 plus 4 is 6, so x would not eliminate. But what if I multiplied a negative 2 here to this entire equation? Then negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. Aha. Uh -huh. So I'm going to multiply negative 2 to this first equation. That allows this to become a negative 4. And then when I add negative 4 plus 4, the x variables disappear. All right. So here we go. I'm going to rewrite this system. And this system is now negative 4x plus 10y. Negative times a negative is a positive, equals negative 2. Yes, you got to multiply the negative 2 here also. Now, I didn't change the second part, so the second part remains 4x plus 3y equal to 15. And now, I'll just add down. Bye-bye. That's 0x. 10 plus 3 is 13. I got 13y. Negative 2 plus 15 is 13. We can solve that. Divide 13 on both sides. Y equals 1. All right. We got Y. Now, how do we get X? You can actually use any equation up here to substitute Y back in to solve for X. So, uh, I can use this one right here. Yeah, I'm going to take this one. I'll put it right back in there. And we got 4X plus 3 times 1 equals 15. Subtract the 3 on both sides because 3 times 1 is 3. 15 minus 3 is 12. 4x equals 12, x equals 3. So x equals 3, y equals 1, and we can write this as an xy coordinate. 3, comma, 1. That system is solved. When x equals 3 and y equals 1, both of these statements are true. Here's another one. Uh, the only difference between this one and this one is in this case, it can be easy to multiply a number to each one of these equations because you got a 3 and a 2. Okay, let's multiply a negative 2 here. I'll make it negative 6. And multiply a 3 here. And I'll make that 6. Yeah. I'm doing this so that I can eliminate the variables. And it's okay to eliminate the y's by eliminating the x's. You get negative 6 plus 6 equals 0. So, let me rewrite these. Negative 6x plus 8y equals negative 22. Now multiply 3 to this entire equation. I get 6x plus 9y equals negative 12. And then when I add down by the elimination method, that goes bye bye. 8 plus 9 is 17. 17y, negative 22 plus negative 12 is negative 34. Divide to 17 on both sides, and y equals negative 2. Now all I have to do is get x. Sure, I'll use that equation right there. This one right here, even without the 3. The 2x plus 3y equals negative 4. I'll take this negative 2 and substitute it right there for the 1. And see what we get. I now get... 2x plus 3 times a negative 2 equal to negative 4. I'm using this equation right here. Even without the 3, multiply multiplied to it. And I get 2x minus 6 equals negative 4. Add a 6 on both sides. You get 2x equals 2. And therefore, x equals 1. So we've solved this system. The solution is x equal to 1, y equals negative 2. And that's it. And of course, you can check these by plugging them back in if you want to make sure you did the problem correctly. And that's solving a system of linear equations by the elimination method. You can also use the substitution method. All right, I'll talk about that in another video. And uh, the substitution method is totally fine here, where you, step one, solve for one of the variables, all right, and one of the equations. Then you take that expression and you substitute it into the other equation. That's it.